You are welcome to another video of the course Yang Based Network Automation using Netcon, Rescon, and GNMI. In this section, we are going to prepare the GNMI lab based on Arista Virtual US devices. We will install Arista Virtual Device on VMware Workstation. However, it has the capability to be installed on different virtual hypervisor environment. Then we will configure GNMI and we will check GNMI capabilities with GNMI client software. In this section and in the next section, we will explore and demonstrate GNMI with GNMI client tool. But then in the next sections, we will automate network devices with GNMI protocol but with Python libraries. To prepare a GNMI lab based on Arista devices, first we have to download Arista Virtual US, which is the operating system of Arista devices from Arista website. You can download Virtual EOS for various virtual hypervisors, but I will load it into the VMware workstation. I need to download both firmware and also VMDK, this is the firmware, A-boot, and also VMDK, in which the latest version is 4.30 for the VMDK, and the latest version of the firmware is 8.0.1. We have to download the both files. I've already downloaded, and it is already existed in my computer. After downloaded, we load them into the VMware workstation. File, new virtual machine, custom, and then VMware workstation 17, and then the ISO file, the firmware that I've already downloaded. The latest version 8.0.1. And then next, the operating system is Linux, other Linux version 5 64-bit and the next a name for example virtual EOS and then next the number of processor and memory for example 2 gigabyte and uh, a networking configuration and don't change the virtual disk type recommendation is IDE and use an existing virtual disk and then here we have to load the vmdk that we have already downloaded the latest version 4.30.0f and then next and then we can load the virtual eos operating system in my computer it takes 10 to 15 minutes to load the operating system because of that I've already prepared in my computer virtual EOS lab 430 which is still not loaded the default username is admin without any password after you log into the virtual EOS the first command that you have to enter in the enable mode is zero touch cancel and the uh, operating system will be rebooted after this command and it takes again 10 to 15 minutes to be loaded because of that I've already entered this command in the network device then I have to give a username with the privilege 15 and an IP address to connect to the device remotely so with the username Raika privilege 15 and then secret raika-co.com and then interface management 1 no shutdown IP address 192.168.291 and the subnet mask and the copy running config to a startup config then i have to be able to connect to the device remotely i will check it 
to make sure it works with the username Raika and password Raika-co.com then we have to enable hostname then we have to enable Genemai on the device with the command management API GNMI we will enable GNMI on the device with the default port which is 6030 but to make sure and check we can check it with the show management API GNMI in the enable mode and then not still enabled now it is enabled and it is running on the port 6030 with no certificate but for our lab we will not install any certificate on the network device in the next section we will use python to do network automation with gnmi protocol but before that we will use gnmi client or gnmi c to connect to the network device enable with the GNMI and send GNMI commands through GNMI client to the network devices if you search GNMI C and then github over the internet in the first link you will see a guide to install GNMI client in the quick start guide in the bash we have to enter this command to install gnmi client on the linux machine i've already installed but just to check paste gnmi c is already at the latest version so it is already installed now we have an ISTA device with the GNMI option enabled on the device and in the other side we have a Ubuntu machine with GNMI tools or GNMI client installed in the machine so in the next step we have to check the GNMI connectivity between GNMI client and the Arista device uh, for the first example we will connect to the GNMI server or the Arista network device to check the capability of or yang capability of the network device but as you know gnmi has other commands in addition to capabilities get set and subscribe which will be demonstrated and explored in the next section with gnmi client tool and after that in the next sections we will explore and demonstrate all these commands and automations with python gnmi library so for the first example i will check gnmi capabilities with this command this is gnmi client and this is the ip address of the device which is 192.168.291 and the default port as you know it is 6030 and the username and password roika and roika-co.com that we have configured already and the connectivity method is insecure without certificate based authentication and the command that we are going to use is the capabilities command of the gnmi protocol so i will connect to the device and you see that the device gnmi version is 7 with the uh, these yang models supported by the arista device is a big list and the supported encoding is also json json itf and ascii the encoding method supported by this device but just for a, a small check i will use the get command also to get the entire configuration of network device based on all supported yang models for that we will use the command get instead of the capabilities 
so here I will use the command get slash means entire configuration to be written is a long configuration if we store the output in the file for example with the name of output and then check inside the output we know the IP address of the device is 192.168.2.91 and we can check this part of the configuration with with open config interfaces interface copy and I will run again the command but this time with this path and now we will receive the IP address of only the IP address part of the configuration or a specific part of the configuration based on open config interfaces in the next section we will explore GNMI client with different GNMI supported commands and also subscribe command which is the most important command in GNMI protocol